Hi guys, it's Alas Tops here again, your PHP lecture. I hope you enjoyed my previous video. In this video guys, I want to talk about how to declare a variable uh, in PHP. In PHP, the way you declare a variable, you all know that from all other programming languages, we have different types of variables. So we've got a string, we've got an integer, we've got a, a boolean, We've got a, a, a double or we call it a float. Uh, all those variables when you are declaring them in other programming languages such as C++, Java, you have to indicate that the variable, what type of the variable you are declaring. If it's an integer, you have to indicate when you are declaring it. But in PHP, PHP doesn't know the type of a variable when you are declaring it until you assign a value. So in PHP, the same way you declare a variable, string variable, is the same way you declare a string, a integer variable, or a float variable, or a boolean variable. But PHP is going to recognize the type of a variable that you declare once you assign a value to it. So as usual guys, my name is displayed here, my cell phone number and my email. If you have got any query or something that you want to ask me, you can simply call me or send me an email, then I will actually respond to you guys. Without wasting time, let me just show you guys quickly how to declare variables. As usual, you have to open your Notepad++. I simply go to the search button here, type notepad, it's here, I open my notepad here. Uh, once I'm in my notepad, I can simply t uh, paste the HTML. This HTML, I'm not going to explain about it because you guys, I'm, I'm, I assume or you are up to date with this basic level. So my heading for this project, guys, is how to declare a variable in PHP, which is here. So I simply dive. You know that when I'm declaring a PHP, every code for PHP must be inside the tag for PHP. So I'm opening a tag for PHP here, which is question mark, PH. Okay, let me put in PHP, then I'll close here with this. So this uh, this is opening and closing tag for PHP. I want to declare my variables. When I'm declaring a variable in PHP, we declare a variable with a dollar sign. A dollar sign, then you give it a name. But a variable name mustn't start with a, a let, mustn't start with a number. All the variable must start with a, a letter or an underscore, not any other character. They must start with a letter or an underscore. So it mustn't there mustn't be space in between the letters when you are declaring when you are naming a variable. So for, for example, I declare variable called name here. Then I'll give it a value. Because when I just declare it without giving a value, PHP doesn't even know the type of this variable. So for it to know now, if I want to, to give a string in this variable, I'll simply assign it to a value, to a string variable. Let's say I declare my variable and say Silas. So for it to be recognized as a string, you must put this name in it. Anything that you put in 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 chords and assign it to a variable then it will be recognized this variable now will be recognized as a string because you are assigning a value that is in in quotes so i'm also i also want to declare another variable called cnm here cnm is equals to i want to give also i want to give it okay it's a string as well Put um, I put my cnm in quotes here. Don't forget to put same colon at the end of each uh, PHP sentence, guys. I want to declare another variable also called office. It's dollar sign. This one becomes an integer. An integer is recognized by as being assigned a whole number. So I declare this variable as an integer. Inside like dollar sign then office office number when you want to separate the words you have to separate with an underscore not with a space like office then i'll put number here office number then i say is equals to then because this variable is an integer 
I if I don't have to put the value in quotes I simply write office 202 because it's record it once I put the number like this then PHP will know that this value that is saved in this variable the type of it, it's the type of this value it's an integer so how to declare a float or a boolean Follow a boolean a variable that you've got comma like when you are dealing with the values such as monetary values or other price values or other values that you've got comma you call them float or double so how do you declare it you declare the same way it's a dollar sign then you let me say price here yeah? price let's say i say price here yeah. i declare the value called price say let me say book price okay say book price okay book price this name convention we call it a cameo case cameo case convention let me give it a value here so i give it a value like 5 48 48 then i'll put a comma 95 put it as a price then the same colon so all these values will be recognized in php as what as this one recognizes a string because i give it a value that is a string inside quotes it getting that a string also this variable i declare this it's recognized by php as a string because i give it i give a value of string this one recognizes an integer because i gave a value of integer this one recognized as a float or a boolean because i gave a value with a decimal so how to display this variable now i want to display let me just put another php tag here to display this variable For example it's comma then php tag opening then let me close it here closing tag for php then inside here uh, this php let me display this php variable inside let me embed this inside my my html let me put h1 here let me use h2 heading 2 then and put also h at the bottom i want to embed my php display inside my html tag once i do this then i want to display these values there are different ways of displaying the variables that you declared so I want to show you, let me just see, quickly copy the one that I have here, then I'll explain to you guys, then I'll quickly explain. Uh, so th this is the other way of displaying, I say echo, my full name is, then I'll say dot this dot is a way of joining string to a string so a string is recognized by these quotes so i'm joining this string with another string which is my name you join the string using the dot you say this dot this string dot this space i'm joining with a string of space dot that string of same name dot joining with a space so this is how you joining we call it a concatenation concatenation joining different string to be together you join a string in php using a dot symbol which we call concatenation i hope you get me guys let me also display the other one as an angle tag here this one i put a bianna let me just display this one the other one i want to display as an echo my office number is then I put it as an angle tag here as a link a ref with this a, a, a placeholder of my link. I don't want to put any link yet, but I just put so this is another way of displaying a, a variable. You can put it in these QL brackets. A variable that you declared here you can put in QL brackets, then it will be displayed, or you can display with concatenation like what I did here. So there are different ways of displaying what? A PHP variable. So guys you must put in mind all those different syntax of displaying a variable in php let me also display the variable see how i can display the variable the the price one 
for example the price i write the statement echo the price of the php book is then i put r then i concatenate this string with the price of the book which is i'm calling this variable price it's simply going to display this value i have to call this price for me to display this value here so this is how you actually uh, this is this is how you actually uh, declare and uh, display the variables that you declared let me just save my project here guys to save you go to file then save as once you are in save as uh, look for go to c drive look for them folder go to ht docs where's h2 docs my ht docs i'm looking for my ht docs okay it's here open it then create a create a project here i'll name this project name i give it a name prog let me give it prog what prog 3 then i'll name my code file to be project don't forget to name it with an extension of dot php then i'll save it in my project name the project name is prog3 then i open that folder and save once i'll save then you i will see actually it will be displayed here as a file name then to i have to go to my zemb here then i'll make sure that my zemb is started i'm not gonna start because it's what i already started previously so see active my page and my SQL is active so i can simply go to my browser to run this project when you get to a browser here you do as usual i type local local host type local host then forward slash then the project name which is prog3 then press enter once i press enter it will be displayed here then i'll click my project once i click my project i think there's an error on my project tscc on line 17 this error you can simply go to line 17 when i come to line 17 here to try to find what the error is all about uh, let me quickly check So guys, when I get here, I think the error is here for my variable here. I put num instead of number. So I simply change it to number here. Then I go to my browser and refresh. When I come here to refresh, I think is it still guys, I'm still getting this error undefined variable office num in line 17. So I have to go to my project on line 17. Line 17 here, this variable, I wrote it with a capital letter N. So I have to change this N because here on top here it's office num with a small letter so make sure that you write exactly the name the variable name with the exact characters the way you wrote it up there so once i'm done this i'll click save save once i click save then i'll go to my browser and refresh now it's fine now I, in, all the information in my code is displayed with the my office num is o2 with a as a o2 as a link because on my code i put it as a link here and got tag and got tag head from with a, a a place order of yes and the variable office num is displayed with, as a link uh, which i did here so guys this is how you declare the variables and two different ways of displaying them i think you see how to display them in two ways guys i hope you enjoyed this video guys keep on practicing php you know the only way that you can know php is by practice thank you guys i wish to see you in our next video thank you